What's up, family? Enlighten me. Please enlighten me. Year in and year out, we the Hmong people, we act like uncivilized people. We act like a whole bunch of animals. It occurred to me, man, that the character of among persons cannot be reconciled with, man. Why do we behave like animals? Even animals behave better than us. We live in a world right now, man, where knowledge is so plentiful. But we refuse to accept knowledge. We refuse to build a safety, healthy environment so we can coexist without any friction. Why must every year, man, we behave like a bunch of senseless people? Is that because we've been cursed? What is the reason, man? Tell me about your reason. That you must engage in violence. Why must you engage in violence with the next brother? What is the outcome, man? What is the trophy behind that? Is this a lotto behind that you want to hit and become a millionaire? Why your hand is so itchy to want to scratch the next man? Because I'm lost, man. Enlighten me, please. Enlighten me, please. Can we open our eyes and learn from other culture that on days like this, they set aside to be called holy days. Will you and I, man, we can still be brother with a different opinion. You can believe in a different belief. We both don't have to agree to disagree. You can have your own political belief. You can have your own street belief. Represent your own color. And we can still be brothers. Why must you possess the heart of a hateful person, man? Can you allow your brother to be who he is and let you be who you are? And both of you guys can coexist in a little tiny environment without any friction. Friction, I mean. Why must we engage in uncivilized activities, man? What is it? Is it jealousy? You fear that your manhood is being tested if you don't flex up? <clears throat> you feel that. You and your buddy, if y'all don't get into some conflicts with the next brothers, your manhood is at stake. You can't get manhood like that, brother. Ten person 
jumping on two person doesn't earn you any stars and stripes, brother. You got to earn that for one on one thing. Life is crazy, man. Karma, it's a bitch. This time of the years, man. Let this time of the years be a peaceful, holy month. Where we can relax and enjoy, man. Eat good, live good. Embrace the brother that you've been missing. Forgive the brother that do you wrong. Pay back to those who gave you. Call up the brother that you miss. When you see your so-called foe, shake his hand. Smile. Make peace with your enemy. Especially make peace with yourself. Conquer your behavior. Tame that. Pacify your anger. <clears throat> the more you practice pacification, the easy your heart becomes. It's senseless, man. The every years, some of you juvenile delinquent behavior, character, pick this holy week or holy days to participate, engage in juvenile activity to see if you can prize something. There is no trophy, man. There's only prison or cemetery. And hate and hatred. What is the root cause of you juvenile character want to misbehave every year? At parties, at New Year's. What is it? Can you just respect the next brother? You ain't got to like him. Or even respect him. But keep your hands to yourself. Keep a distance. <sighs> Man. What must, what must, what must I say, or what can I say, what can I do for you brother to realize, man, you know it's, a, it's how ironic and hypocrite we are, that we can't seem to get along outside here, but when we go to prison, Somehow, we become friends. Because we live in an environment where we are outnumbered by a hundred to one. So, whatever hatred you got, you let it go and you somehow to find peace with the brother that you supposedly have funk with on the streets. Can we use the same mentality out here? Because I tell you what, brother. If we can't be friends out here, there's no way I'm going to be your friend on the inside. If I catch you on the inside, I'm finna stir fry your ass. That's how I feel, man. I'm finna throw a spread with your ass. Make you wash my drawers. 
but this is not about me. This is about the whole nation, man. Forgive your brother, man. And walk with peace. Walk with sunshine, man. Smile at your brother. Smile a bit more. Life is beautiful. Don't let your hatred conquer your behavior. Don't let your behavior lead you to darkness. Because when you walk through the valley of death, it's cold and it's scary. When you walk through that valley of irons and bars and concrete, steel, nobody's gonna walk with you. Well, you can be cooped up in a six by nine, or you can be cooped up in a nine by six. Choose. Both of them is ugly. Your life ceases to exist. You become a has-been. Nobody cared about you, man. You become a lost soul. A walking dead. Be the bigger man, brother. Be the better man, brother. Forgive your enemy. Forgive those who trespass against you. You think they trespass against you, but you don't even know the truth. Because all you do is hear. See, rumor. Rumor is one of the root cause. Or some of you, you got to consume rumor like it's soda, like it's a delicacy. Don't let rumor lead you to walk through the valley of concrete, man, where dead souls rise up. It's a haunted place, scary. Do not let rumors blind you. Do not let rumor change you to a rotten ass life. Forgive your brother, man. <sighs> 